Hey guys, so <clears throat> I figured I'd bring you guys along with cooking. I'm gonna make those um, sausage squares and until then, I'm gonna make me a cup of Joe. I'm gonna make me some of this toasted coconut because my girls kinda got a hold of my cup that I got from McDonald's. But this stuff's really good. If y'all haven't tried the toasted co coconut, please do. It's dark in this house. So, my foot has that daggum like weird tingling sensation. It's so weird and it's like it gets warm. Can't explain it. So I'm gonna top it off with some of this Coffee Mate um, sugar-free French vanilla. <clears throat> and again, if y'all haven't tried this, please get you some. It's really good, like I promise. And it's like super cheap, it's like four bucks. Um, I had to take my ice out because my refri my refrigerator and freezer is so low here, or so little, like you don't have enough room for anything, which stinks. I don't have a whole lot of pans. Cooking dishes, I need some, but I'm gonna have to use this for my the casserole or the sausage sausage squares that I'm gonna be making. So <clears throat> I need a skillet here. This is just so good, guys. Oh, it smells so good. So Katie cleaned the whole daggum house for me. I was super excited. She does good at that. Okay, so. I'm going to see how I'm going to have to set you guys up while I'm doing this. So I'm going to first off, I'm just going to take this out and put it in this pan. And Then we'll fry it up. This is like super easy to make. And it's super delicious too. It's wonderful. Okay. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. And that's what I, I was needing to get paper towels. That's what I needed to get. And I totally forgot them. So I'm gonna see where I can sit you guys. Okay. This will work. <clears throat> I don't have all that fancy kind of equipment. So guys, unfortunately, y'all know my channel and how I roll. So I've gotta get these eggs put away that I made tuna salad, but I made it and it's in the refrigerator. I guess I'll eat that tomorrow. Because <clears throat> I've not even had lunch yet. And it's already supper time. Oh no. Oh shoot. I'm pulling another mammal. 
this was almost about to catch on fire, guys. Every time I do that, I think of my memo. I got the rear one on, and it was this one that I needed. Um, so crazy. So I have you guys propped up here. Maybe. I can't see my face. Maybe I can step back, but I have y'all propped up on a hamburger or a hot dog bun, like the hot dog hot dog bun pack. So I want to get me one of those. I've seen. I think Amy has one away, girl. Someone or Beth Beth Graves. Um, one of the hamburger chopper things. Someone had one of those. I want one. Because I just have this old Tommy spatula. <clears throat> so we're going to sit here and let this stuff fry up. I kind of got the right stove on, that is. And I don't get the um, the hot kind. I just get the regular. I remember when, um, like, growing up and then, like, whenever. Uh, my ex's mama. Nanny, we called her Nanny. I took care of her whenever we were there and I got really close to her. But anyway, she would cook um, sausage. Sausage with sage in it. And I remember that taste. Like, it was really good, but I don't, I don't ever get it. I should get it sometime. But this here is just the regular. You know, you have different kinds. You can get mild, hot, saucy, sage. I sure hope this ain't spicy. It said it wasn't. Oh man, that coffee is phenomenal. So while that's doing that, I'm going to throw a little butter in the pan. Because it's one of those daggum cheap Dollar Tree um, cheap Dollar Tree pans and what I got to use at the moment. I, like I said, I don't have any really fancy pans at the moment. This is all, these pans here are from Walmart. I got a big old box full of them. Like the cheap Walmart ones. And then I have a couple, I have this and then one of the pizza pans from Dollar Tree. These work really good though. I mean, I ain't complaining about them. They're just not fancy. Which I don't need them to be fancy anyways. But I do either want Paula Dean because I like her cookware later on or like Rachel Ray. Or the, what is her name? The Pioneer Lady? I want some of hers. That would be good. Either Paula Dean or, or the Pioneer Ladies. That's my, 
that's who I would like to get. But these are doing good right now, so. These work just as fine. It was funny though, because I've only had one big old pot to boil stuff in, like noodles and stuff, and macaronis and spaghetti and all that kind of crap. And then I had a smaller, or a bigger size down from that one. Smaller, like, you have like the the small and then like the medium and the large, the medium one. I, I sent back with my boyfriend, well he had it and I'm like, man, you know, I don't have much things to boil in here. So I think he was cooking for us that night, but he brought it back. I was like, thank the Lord. Because I was having to use the microwave and... All that good stuff. And then my spatulas, they're just the good old Walmart brand too. So I just got the, the great value crescent rolls here. And I am, I'm just gonna do like half of it. These things make me so daggum nervous when they pop. I'm just not hitting the pop. What the crap? <laughs> it's not wanting to pop, guys. What's wrong here? Okay, there it goes. Meanwhile, after I had to beat it with the freaking chair, it finally popped open. What I'm going to do is just do like half of this and then put the other half on top of this. And it don't have to be fancy looking. I mean, if you're taking it out somewhere, it does. But I'm just going to bake it. And, and we're going to eat it tonight, today. Whenever. can see that that's just what I done to that and then once this mixture is done which it's about done I'll drain this out drain this grease out of here and then add the cream cheese and then the um, Actually, this don't even need to be drained, it don't look like. So I'm going to turn this off. And then I'm going to add this cream cheese. This this doesn't even need to be drained. Normally, some of the sausage that I use or have used in the past, you need to, but 
this here is, don't need to be. And I just got the great value. I typically get the uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. But I just got this. I'm going to give it a try and see how it tastes. The great value brands are pretty good from Walmart. I'm going to drain this just a tad bit. I should have just left that on a little bit. Or just to heat up or I can mix it. Oh my gosh, if y'all haven't ate this, you need to try it. I'm telling you, it's the best little snack, whatever you want to do. Like if you want to eat it for supper, whatever. It's that gum good. I love it. And I love cream cheese. <clears throat> so good. So that's got a warm. And then the cheese that I'm using is just this Fiesta blend cheese. And it's the great value as well. The great value. So we're gonna I need to get a spoon for this. Yeah, I tried this for the first time years ago when Katie was little. Me and my friend and her daughter went to a Christmas party. And they were there and I'm like, oh man, I need to know how to do this. And I've just, it's just something that's stuck with us ever since. I haven't made them though, this in forever. I'm dumping out my sausage. Well, this sausage is just perfect. It's not hot. It's not hot or anything. So I'm gonna put a handful of the cheese after this melts, the shredded cheese. I'll put a handful in here and then I'll sprinkle some over on top of the mixture. And it doesn't have to be mixed perfect just as long as it's mixed pretty good because this will melt in the oven. I could have used a bigger pan, couldn't I? So I'm, I'm dumping my stuff up out of here. And so we'll do a handful of this. The better guys just saying just kind of get it all I probably should have stopped and paused while I've done this but I just figured I'll let y'all come along with me the whole time so I'm gonna move this candle my friends Right here.
So what we're gonna do here is put this on top of this. Woo, that was a quick call. Put that there. And then you just spread all this loveliness around here. This pan's just about too small, but it'll work. And then this little bit that's on the spoon is going to be for Mama. Because I'm going to eat it because it's just so delightful. Like, I'm not even playing. It's just so good. See, look at that. It's just wonderful. Mmm. And then um, this little bit that I have left, normally if I had a bigger dish, I knew that my, my dish was small, you would put two crescent rolls, but yeah, I ain't going to have enough, but oh well. That's like not even nowhere near enough, but oh well. So, typically you'll have the whole thing covered up. I just got it kind of sorted in the middle. And you put it and bake it for like 350 for about 20, 25 minutes or until it's done. And there you have it. So, I'm going to let that cook. This stuff's so good. Oh my gosh, that is like wonderful. I'm going to drink this. And when this gets done, I'll show you guys. You guys have it. So I didn't, like I said, I didn't have enough of the rolls to go up top, the crescent rolls. Um, but this will work. Doesn't it look good? So this is what we'll have tonight. Here you have it guys like i said i could have put more um, of the crescent roll on top but it's okay it's still really taste good taste test i can't wait because this is really good mm. I love this stuff. It's like cheese heaven. It's so cheesy. It's wonderful. So, if y'all tried this, let me know. If you haven't and you do try it, let me know what you think about it. It's really good. Kids love it. It's great for parties. It's great for home. It's just good all the way around. Anyways, thanks for watching.